Hello everyone, Brad here with Custom Offsets. Got episode lifts and levels. Uh, this is the one that everyone asks about and we never do. And that's simply because we just don't see many, but this is gonna be a Magoy's kit. Um, this is for a Silverado for 2014 and up Silverado. This one's gonna be going on the 17 Silverado 2500. Uh, Z71. This is going to be their 7 to 9 inch kit. Uh, a lot of people are unfamiliar with how that works exactly. And I'll just jump right into that right away. So pretty much how is, how is this a 7 to 9 kit? The kit's designed for a 7 inch kit. Um, but what McGoy's does is they actually have their struts here which are height adjustable. So basically you can see these notches here and where you set the uh, clip here is where it's going to dictate where you're the lower spring pocket sits, and all the way down to be seven inch, the next slot up's eight inch, and all the way up's nine inch. And what that does is it really that just changes the preload on the spring. So if you preload the spring a little more, it'll actually lift the truck up because it's stiffening the spring up front. So that's how that works, seven to nine. Most people just set it all the way up to nine and go like that. So we got the front struts there, obviously, and then this one, once again, it's kind of a little confusing how McGoy's does it. This is going to be called their stainless steel or SS series kits. As you can see, you get the high gloss black finish. And then also what they do is you have these little stainless inserts in here, which look very pretty. Uh, people like that. And then stainless, the Allen head cap screws there as well. Just little accent pieces. I believe the standard McGoy's kit is just like a flat black powder coat finish where the stainless steel or SS series is is the high gloss black with the uh, shiny inserts. So you got your front and rear uh, lower control arm drop cross members, uh, just like anything else here. You got your differential um, skid plate for when the diff gets lowered down. You got your front diff drops here, which you can see are pretty big diff drops. But you, you gotta be when you're going you know, up to nine inch lift here. So you got your diff drop and then as well as Sway bar drops here. Um, this is going to be a cross member brace. I believe this ties in between the lower control arm cross members to brace them up, just stiffen things up a little bit. And then McGoy's gives you welded plates as well for when you cut the basically cross member pockets on the frame. They give you a plate to weld back in place just to brace everything back up. And then another thing that McGoy's does that everyone always likes is these here which are either called compression struts or um, kicker braces whatever you want to call them basically these are a brace that go from the rear lower control arm cross member and ties them into the frame to get keep everything from moving uh, realistically if the kit's design right you don't actually need them but a lot of people like them really just more so for looks and then obviously we got our new knuckles here. As you can see, front track width is increased on these kits. You can always tell when a kit comes with CV spacers, that track width is going to be increased probably about an inch and a half per side. And then, you know, that, that really kind of is everything for the front. In the rear, how they do it is you got a six inch block here. So they have their fabricated six inch block. And then you do the Adeliefs. Two Adeliefs give you about an inch and a half to two inches of lift. Um, so at nine inches, it should sit pretty level the truck. If you set it at seven, the rear will be higher. And then just the uh, standard twin tube Magoy shocks to the rear. New U-bolts, I don't really like, they don't give you coated U-bolts, so these are just raw steel. So those are gonna rust up instantly, which isn't the greatest. But um, obviously you could paint them up, but usually paint doesn't hold up on U-bolts. And then another nice thing is they give you new tie rod ends here, nice new short ones, so you don't actually have to cut the factory tie rods like you do on some other kits. Um, you know, BDS and I believe Fabtech do that as well. They give you the uh, new tie rods, but that's pretty much it for this kit. Uh, that's gonna be the McGoy's seven to nine, and we're gonna go get installed. Right, guys we got the McGoy's kit installed on the truck here and remember this is the seven to nine uh, we have it set up at nine right now because we want to avoid trimming issues with the wheel and tire setup he's gonna go with and as you can see obviously we got the new um, the lifted knuckles here we got the new shorter tie rod ends which is a nice little feature so you don't have to cut the factory tie rods 
And then all the other standard components that you'd always see on any other kits, one thing that uh, stands out to me right away is this is a really large diff drop. I'd say that's probably, I mean, roughly, that's roughly a seven inch diff drop, which is a lot. Um, you know, usually you only see about four inch, but that's usually on a six inch kit. This is a seven to nine. So it looks like they're dropping their diff seven inches. Um, you can see, even with the truck up in the air, the CV axle angles are not even maxed out and the truck's at full droop, which so it, that's really nice. So when it's on the ground, I'm assuming the CV axle angles will be pretty much near flat. Um, and then aside from that, obviously they have the big lower control arm drops. Uh, you can see the braces here that tie the cross members together. Uh, the new skid plate under there, sway bar drops. And then they do these weird sway bar extensions thingies here on the end, which I'm not crazy about. It looks a little sketchy, but um, I guess someone really much smarter than me designed that, so I guess it's fine. And then on the back here, we have these bars here that everyone goes crazy about and loves because they look cool. And those are gonna be the compression struts or kicker braces. And all that's doing is basically tying in the uh, lower control arm drops to the frame and bracing it up because these are quite large, but drop. I think that's pretty much it in the front. And then as you can see, they have these really pretty inlays. It's really cute. Um, a lot of people like those as well. And then obviously the CV axle spacers here because track width up front will be increased. Usually it's about an inch and a half. So you have to space the CV axles out. And that's pretty much it up front. Let's go to the back. Um, yeah, in the back here, this kit comes with the, uh, the fabricated block here and then as well as there's an Adelief in here. And the block on here, they use a six inch block and then they achieve the rest of the lift with the Adelief. The Adelief will add about an inch and a half to two inches, give or take, of lift. Um, the new U-bolts, which I mentioned earlier, are uncoated. So those are gonna rust right away. So, uh, bump stop drops and then the new shocks in the back as well. And I believe they just have some uh, brake line relocation brackets. It looks like they literally just have you use the old bracket. Some of the other kits like BDS and stuff will actually give you a new bracket here and blah, blah, blah. But McGoy's doesn't do that. And then another thing that I don't really care for with McGoy's is they don't really offer any shock upgrades. So you can't get like Fox or Bilstein's with any of their kits. So it is what it is. But yeah, that's going to be the 7 to 9 McGoy's for uh, 2014 and up 1500 GM trucks.